హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ దిస్ ఇస్ జయచంద్రన్ వెల్కమ్ యూ టు కర్క కర్క ఛానల్ ఆఫ్ టెక్స్టైల్స్ యూ నో బెటర్ దట్ వీ ఆర్ బ్రాడ్కాస్టింగ్ అబౌట్ వెఫ్ నిటింగ్ అండ్ టీషర్ట్స్ ఇన్ తమిళ్ వర్సన్ ది రిక్వెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది ఆడియన్స్ హ్యావ్ బీన్ ఫుల్ఫిల్డ్ అండ్ వీ హర్ స్టార్టెడ్ ఇన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ వెర్సన్ ఆల్సో వీ హ్యావ్ ఆల్రెడీ పుట్ టూ వీడియోస్ అబౌట్ ది మెర్చండైజింగ్ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ ఆఫ్ మెర్చండైజింగ్ అండ్ యాన్ కౌంట్ ఐ హ్యావ్ స్పీక్ అబౌట్ ఇట్ ఇన్ దట్ లాస్ట్ టూ వీడియోస్ today we are going to see further what is t-shirt parts and how we will have to analyze the rate depends upon the parts so the length of the garment increases cost increase width of the garment increases cost increase when you change the fabric cost will go up so every aspect will have a cost effectiveness in that uh, um, garment so we wanted to analyze first the parts of the garment then step by step we will proceed together to calculate the piece weight required and the yarn required and then cost what we are uh, going to incur in that to produce that t-shirt so before going into video those who are not subscribed kindly subscribe our channel and press the bell button so that you will get the notification and also join those who wanted to become a member please press the join button and become a member of our channel so first the basic thing for a uh, any product we must know what is the parts of the that uh, garment or any product we must know the parts in that uh, aspect now today we have come to one uh, we have put i put on drawing so in the parts of the t-shirt the weft net fabric mostly produced inner wear and t-shirts of casual wear and we are starting with the t-shirt and parts i have drawn the basic rib neck this is called this style is called basic rib neck or round neck whatever may be the name you can put so here i put a a that is high shoulder point the high shoulder point of the t-shirt and then this again somebody may call it as high point shoulder both are same hsp or hps both are same half chest measure from this edge to that next edge that is half chest normally our tail when you go for a tailoring shop they will take the girth of the chest that is round total body round but in t-shirts normally they will give the half chest full length from high shoulder point from this high shoulder point up to the bottom of the t-shirt what is the length is called full length of the garment and again from here to the uh, opening that is called arm hole opening that is in straight also they will give some buying of buy, buyers will give in curve it is mentioned here arm hole straight that means measurement from here to here you must measure straight okay shoulder seam to seam that means this some some uh, buying of is will uh, indicate as across the shoulder both are same across the shoulder or shoulder seam to seam from the arm hole joining to next arm hole joining the cross measurement is called shoulder seam to seam or across the shoulder both are same and then sleeve length from here to edge of the sleeve open that is called sleeve length sleeve open what is the open measurement of the sleeve here i wanted to clarify that if the length is full then full sleeve if length is half half sleeve short sleeve that again becomes the style of the garment full sleeve half sleeve and short sleeve sleeveless also will come some style will come sleeveless so the length of the sleeve indicates the style whether it is full sleeve or half sleeve then neck width neck width means from the high shoulder point from left to right what is the width that is called neck width front neck drop high shoulder point left to right you draw an imaginary line from that line you must take up to the bottom of the joining that neck rib joining that measurement is called front neck drop back neck drop from the same point where the back neck is joined that is called back neck drop okay this is k bottom and the sleeve hem see the hemming means we are folding and uh, stitching in the bottom and also the sleeve we will fold and stitch it that is called hem bottom and also sleeve bottom and sleeve hem side seam 
This seam is called side seam. We are joining front panel and back panel. That uh, measurement, that uh, part is called side seam. They have the common measurements. With the common measurement only we can go proceed further for the pattern or for piece weight or for casting and everything. So you must try to understand what is the parts of the garment. If you wanted to know about any material, first you must be familiar with the parts of the garment. Then only it will be uh, further we can go for the uh, analysis of uh, casting or something else. So I think this will be a very informative for you and keep watching our channel. We are going to come up a lot of videos about this knitting gar knitted garment and also casting and everything. Keep watching. Thank you. Thank you very much.